Guys, today we are at the very critical point. You can see that we're inside of this orange box right here and this is the moment of truth. Are we going to break through this and go towards much higher prices for Bitcoin or are we going to get a rejection from this point? Guys, I have a couple of very important charts I need to show you and uh, yeah, we are in for a massive run very, very soon here for Bitcoin and uh, you need to be prepared for the volatility. So make sure to stick around for the beginning until the end of this video. Welcome back everybody, my name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it guys, and yes, indeed, on the daily time frame, you can see that we have had a couple of candles closing inside of the orange box on the daily time frame, and each one of these have been closing higher and higher, and it looks like the bulls wants to break through this, the bears are going to try to, uh, of course, put on a good defense here in order for us to not break through this point. You can see, in fact, yesterday we did have a rally all the way up to 64,700. In fact, on the four hourly time frame, you can see that this candle ended up going to the next level of resistance, which is this orange line at 64,300. And from this point, we have now met resistance. But I think, guys, that it's only a matter of time, as you know, guys, until we break through through this orange box and now is the time to potentially do that of course we need to be prepared for all different scenarios but uh, i have been saying and if you look at the four hourly time frame we're still intact on this bullish trend here of making higher highs and higher lows so the bullish trend on the shorter time frames are still intact and uh, yeah i do think that there's a good chance that we are going to get more momentum here inside of this orange box we're gonna turn around and we are going to break through this point. So that is why I've been saying that at lower prices, there were very good opportunities to accumulate Bitcoin on the uh, lower levels. But now my bags are loaded and I'm just waiting for us to break through this point. And uh, of course, my trading strategies here as well are doing very well. And this one is uh, creeping up towards 84% in profit, which is really, really nice to see. And this one, which used to be at like minus $50,000, is now at only minus $22,000. So uh, this is going to be huge as well. If we see a breakout from this orange box towards the upside, then uh, this one is going to be at massive profit as well. As well so i'm keeping my close eyes on what's going on right here but i think it's only a matter of time even if let's say we do see another pullback even if we do see that at this point for me it's only a matter of time and i don't really care if it's going to happen in the next week if it's going to happen in the next month the liquidity is increasing in the markets and it's only a matter of time until we break through this and go towards the upside and how about altcoins guys well i do have very important stuff to talk about in regards to the altcoins as well so stick around for that now, a couple of more charts I need to show you. The two-day chart, you know, this very important uh, downwards sloping resistance level. We almost came down to it yesterday, but this is going to act as big resistance as well. It's currently at $65,500. So should we have another push towards the upside, be prepared for this to be resistance. And if we look at the moving averages... And I am going to show you those right now on the daily time frame. The 200-day moving average, which is this green one, is still holding down the Bitcoin price as well. So we do have significant resistance in terms of this green moving average, in terms of the downward sloping resistance I showed you just now, as well as the orange box and the uh, orange line right here. So once we break through those, then we are going to have massive uh, runs towards the upside, in my opinion. And then I think it's going to be pretty quick for us to go up to these levels right here. And let me show you this on the daily time frame to go up to at least this level right here at 68,500, which is a key level of resistance. So that is what I am watching right now on the uh, shorter and on the midterm time frame. And uh, like I said, my trading strategies, people are making uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars using this one. So it is massive to see. Congratulations to everyone that are using those. And if you want to start using these ones, of course, before we do see that next major breakout, go down to the description of this video. You have OKX right here. Claim up to $60,000 by clicking on join now. Claim that bonus by creating an account by using this link. And then once you have created an account, go down and with one click, 
you use this link and it is going to set up that bot for you. And then if you cannot use OKX, you can use BitCat for the same strategies. You claim up to $40,000, use this link right here by claiming those. And uh, then you go down, once you have claimed the bonus, you go down and you click on this link and it's gonna take you to this page. In fact, the slots are full right now, but uh, it doesn't matter, just go down to bots and then you click on subscribe. But for this account, the slots are full, but we do have uh, some more slots. I think this is incorrect. There's actually some slots left left on these ones as well. So if you click on this link, yes, there are some slots left. So you click on bots and then you click on subscribe right here. Use the top one. That is the most recent one. So for traditional markets, guys, traditional markets are still doing pretty well after breaking through this trend line, having that jump up to this point. We're now seeing some consolidation at the top here on the daily time frame, but it's all looking good so far, guys. So nothing to worry about there. And there's a couple of things you need to be prepared for this week. You have Fed officials speaking all week. You have Bank of Japan monetary policy minutes meeting. So that is going to be a huge one. Thursday, there will be a speech by Powell. So keep your eyes on that. And then some significant data being released here on Thursday and on Friday. So be prepared for some volatility, especially towards the end of the week. We need to be prepared for that. Now, I need to show you this chart. So this is the Puel multiple down here, and then you have the Bitcoin price up here. So what is the Puel multiple? Well, basically, it measures the profitability of miners. Okay, so that is the Puel multiple. And what you can see is we're forming a little bit of a similar pattern, which usually forms at the bottom here. And then from that point, usually Bitcoin goes on a massive run. So look at this. You do have right here, this was the absolute bottom. And then after the halving, you can see the same thing being formed here. We went up higher. This is the bottom right here. Again, Puel multiple forming a similar pattern on the rise. And right now we are forming a similar thing as you've seen here previously before the massive runs towards the upside. So keep your eyes on that. And in terms of altcoins, guys, as you know, a few weeks ago, I said that I think we are going to top out at the Bitcoin dominance. It makes sense to top out at this orange line. We have now hit this orange line. So we are right at the point in which I thought that there's a good chance that we are going to see the Bitcoin dominance start to turn around and go down, meaning that altcoins are going to go on nice runs. So we had a nice run for the Bitcoin dominance here as altcoins have been selling off, Bitcoin has been gaining dominance. But uh, like I said, I do think there's a good probability that it is going to stop right here at 58%. And now altcoins, it is their time to shine in general. We still need to be careful with which altcoins to buy, guys. I will talk more about altcoins moving forward. Uh, but in general, I do think we're due for some better times for altcoins. It's been an absolute bloodbath for altcoins the last six to nine months, right? So that is something we need to be very, very very aware of as well that the bitcoin dominance is at the key point here on my chart so let's keep our eyes on that not only are we seeing bitcoin potentially top out here at 58 percent but also if you look at the bitcoin dominance it's forming this wedge right here which typically means that you see a breakdown if we break down from this and we're already on the uh uh, crypto market cap top 10 altcoins excluding this is actually excluding the top 10 so it's considering uh, smaller altcoins so what you're seeing right here is a breakout from this chart meaning that potentially you're going to see a little bit of a mini altcoin season a little bit of a run towards the upside based on this as well so Everything is lining up for some altcoin gains. So that is great. Also for Dogecoin, you can see that we're potentially breaking uh, out of... I mean, you can draw this in a little bit of a different way as well. If you want to draw it like uh, this, then we are still in it, right? Or something like that. But nonetheless, either we are already breaking uh, through or we are about to potentially do that. We're right on the resistance here, knocking on it to break that uh, barrier. And why is this important? Because usually before every major altcoin season, you see Dogecoin lead. You see Dogecoin first break out and then you see the rest of the altcoin market essentially do the same. So this is important to keep track of, guys. And uh, things are looking really, really well, honestly. And this all has to do with liquidity cycles. And things do often repeat in the same manner. So what you have on the left is the Nikkei, which is the Japanese stock market. And then you have the Bitcoin price here on the monthly chart on the right and then you see the similarities here so 
The same kind of thing you've seen for Bitcoin in an emerging market, it is the same you saw for the Nikkei here. This goes all the way back to the 1950s when you've seen the same kind of pattern play out. Of course, it's going to be quicker for Bitcoin because it's digital and it is, it, you know, we're just living in different times right now. Things are moving quicker in general, but uh, the pattern is still the same. And I do think it's going to play out pretty much like you see right here. So that is all good. And finally, I wanted to show you that Tether is increasing stable coin supply so tether is going through the roof here there's more and more money entering the crypto markets and guess what most of this money is going to be used for trading and most of this is also going to be used for buying altcoins buying bitcoin and buying whatever so that is all great guys thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one